baseball prospecting, Matthew, is the concept of where you're buying a player before they've ever debuted in the major leagues. And it, it's an interesting dynamic because there's a lot of people kind of competing for these cards because of the parallels and so forth. There's not many of them. And this is a, a very uh, it's a growing part of the hobby that I think a lot of people are starting to understand. But you have to know some stuff in, 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 in order to not get burned. So that being said, Matthew, with this holiday, big purchase for us. How many Jackson holiday cards have we owned in total? Do you well, think 20? It's like 25? 20, I, yeah, I was about to say 28, 25. Yeah. So, yeah. so over the course of the last year, we've That's bought and autos, sold. Yeah, autos. We've bought and sold about 25 Jackson Holiday cards. And one of the things that's really interesting about prospects is you have the ability while they're in the minor leagues to kind of buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell. This is our strategy. Yep. Some guys buy early and hold until debut. Some guys buy and hold until they debut in double A or triple A. We kind of like to go in and out, in and out, in and out. <coughs> Excuse me. And over time, if you can buy and sell properly, you make enough money on that. I mean, one how many prospect. players have we done? we've done that with Churio, we've done that with Holiday, we've done that with Joe Williams, James we've Wood, James Wood, we've yep. done that with tons of people, Isaac, Jason Dominguez, Isaac Cole Young, Cole Jason Young. Dominguez. Mm -hmm. So our philosophy and strategy is to buy and sell guys. And take the profit that you make off that guy, and then you can put it back into that guy. And so that for me kind of keeps it like in my mind, it's like a straight path. Like I know that if we've made five hundred dollars on Jackson Holiday, yeah. now I'm okay to go buy a five hundred dollar Jackson Holiday card because then that card is basically all profit. That way, if it goes down, it's okay. The problem with buying and holding is these prospects tend to fluctuate with their performance. Uh, if they get called up or not. Here, Cheerio Refractor Auto PSA 10 has been from $1,800 to $900. And right now they're 14. They're just going up, down, up, down. It's crazy. Yeah. So when you pay attention to a prospect and you pay attention to their market, you can kind of get in and out. And that being said, heading into spring training is one of the best times in all of baseball to be Speaking buying. Spring training, you yep. be heading. Yeah, we're, we're actually trying to work on a trip to spring training. So, Matthew, let's go ahead and close out today's episode with Ham House Sports Top 10 Baseball Prospects, okay? Yeah, so here we go. So these are prospects that we like based on a few different factors. The team they play for, how old they are, their statistics, what the height. Position hype, they play. Yeah, position, the hype, and the hobby around them. So you can look at a lot of different factors. So. The number one guy that we actually do not own an auto of right now that we are trying to pick an auto of up is hmm. Matt Shaw. Matt Shaw. So this is a refractor Bowman. first Bowman. But Matt Shaw was a 2023 Bowman draft prospect. 13th pick. I think. 13th pick. No, was, was he looking back? 11th or 12th? I think. 13th overall mm -hmm. to the Chicago Cubs. We really like Matt Shaw. He's young. He still has some time in the minor leagues. We're having a hard time finding an auto of him, but he because yeah, I have a true blue. Yeah, he is our he's one of our top ten. I would put him at number ten. Matt Shaw, number ten, top prospect. Okay, now moving into the next. This is a guy that we've been on for a while, but we just picked this card up in Atlanta. This is a Jason Dominguez, 2020, 2020. first Bowman. Now talk about Dominguez, Matthew. So Dominguez, he's one of those guys we made money on. So I mean that card's practically free. Yeah. Uh, we had a chance to, to own a blue Dominguez PSA 10, but we ended up trading it out of it for some other good prospects. But Dominguez, he climbed the charts really high. He was able to debut last year and hit a home run off Verlander on his first hit, ironically. Um, but we really believe in Dominguez, and you can't go wrong with the Yes. So, so Dominguez debuted last year, hit four home runs in just a few games, and then got hurt. So he's on IR right now, but he'll be coming off the summer. Yankees prospects, big market. Always pay attention to big markets. Jason Dominguez for us is our number nine prospect, and we currently have the Refractor Auto PSA 10. All right, number eight. Number eight. Big bat. Lazaro Montez. Lazaro Montez. Um, we've owned a few Lazaros. Um, this is a true gold refractor. True gold PSA, PSA 10. 10. We were going to pick it up in Atlanta and trade. Um, we didn't want to trade the card that we traded for it, but baseball bro sports cards uh, had to do it. He just had to. Yep. So uh, this is a sick card. Yeah. So Montez is a big bat. All right. He's a left-handed hitter. 
He's got a ton of power. And they compare him to Mark McGuire. Yeah, so a lot of guys talk about Montez kind of like a Mark McGuire type. He's got a really big bat. Now, this is his gold. We are actually in negotiations on a trade for this card. And in the trade, we would get uh, maybe a Montez, Montez Blue or a Montez Refractor. So one of the things in prospecting that we like to do is if you get a bigger card of a guy, a gold or an orange or a red, trade down out of that card into the same prospect so that if you can get a cash plus trade situation, maybe that card then is free to you based on your investment. But Lazaro Montez, we've got at number eight. He's still young. He's international. Huge bat. A lot of upside here. We really like Montez. Number seven. All right. Rhett Louder. Rhett Louder is a pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds. He was the seventh pick in this year's draft. Um, a lot of people watched the game where Paul Skeens and him went head to head. And a fun fact that I always like to tell people is in the sixth inning of the game, the score is zero to zero. Paul Skeens had already thrown 99 pitches and Rhett Louder was only at 55 pitches. Yeah. So he has a lot of control, a lot of good placement. He's got some nasty stuff. Rhett Louder is a sneaky prospect. We don't usually do pitchers, but he played at Wake Forest, which is in North Carolina. We watched him in the College World Series. Really like Rhett Louder. This is a true blue auto PSA 10. We actually have a few of these, but Rhett Louder is a guy we're looking for. And you can get him relatively cheap. Um, he doesn't have as much ceiling as some of the bat prospects, but still a great opportunity. So that's number seven. Number, All right, six. number six. Jet Williams. Jet Williams is one of those guys that, I mean, we've sold so many of his cards for practically free. And, the, and the, well, yeah, we are free into this one. Um, but we love Jet. Um, Jet is a great prospect for the Mets. Short stops always sell. And you can't go wrong with an orange. So Jet was a first-round draft pick, number 14 overall, high school kid. So think about prospects. When you have a high school kid, you've got a, a young guy that has a few years to, to learn his own body and to learn the, the dynamics of playing professional baseball. So it versus a guy that went to college and he's older. You know, these pro, these uh, professional uh, major league teams, they like to get guys, you know, who that are going to be able yeah, to debut in the 20, early 20s to give them a long, you know, span and career. Whereas these college players, they're 22, 23, they haven't debuted yet. They become more utility players often. And so your top prospects are generally going to be young international yep. prospects or high school draft picks that go and skip Perfect. over college, um, generally speaking. You still do have some great college players, you know, Enrique Wyatt Langford, Bradfield. yeah, Enrique Bradfield, Dylan Cruz. You're going to see that schemes, um, mostly pitchers in that case. But anyway, Brad, I mean, uh, Jet Williams – is a solid, solid player. If you don't have any, you can still get his refractor auto, very competitively priced, kind of $150 raw. Here's one raw that we have that we're selling right now. It's a refractor auto, uh, probably $150. Bucks. But Jet is a great um, value buy right now. He's also a shortstop in a big market in New York. So, again, um, love Jet. Number five. Spencer Jones. Spencer Jones. So, again, big market, New York City. New York Yankees, he is a first-round draft pick. He was drafted 25th overall in the 22 draft. He's got some issues with his he plate. Huh? He was drafted fifth? 25th. Oh. Yeah. He's got some issues with, like, his plate discipline and stuff, but he has incredible upside. So huge bat. Um, he's an outfielder. You've got massive exit velocity, which is how hard the ball comes off the bat. Just I mean, a, just look at Anthony Volpe. He did like barely anything last year, and his car was all. Oh, I mean, he hit Volpe. twenty home runs as a rookie. He hit like two forty, and it was like Anthony Volpe is him. But, like, dude, this kid does anything this year. This car will be to the moon. Yes, I know. So that Spencer Jones is number five on our list. All number right, four. Number four. Which one do you want to go? I saw you got a top one. Yet, number okay, four. number four. All right, number four, Samuel Basalo. So Samuel Basalo is with the Orioles. You can see Big Matt like the Orioles here. He has climbed the prospect rankings like very quickly. Crazy. I don't think he was on the hundred top hundred list last year, and right now he is. He wasn't like number sixteen. On yeah, the list. eighteen year old. I think he made it to Double A last year. Um, again, awesome, awesome upside with him. Great, great bat. He's just a pure hitter. Um, the problem is with the Orioles is Adley Rushman is locked in at catcher. Basalo is a catcher first baseman, so there's just not a ton of potential for him to move around the field. <laughs> Excuse me. It's going to be all about How his bat and if they can get him at a D, in, in a DH. And his kind bat of, is good. His bat is solid. But we love Samuel Basalo. Pretty good value right now, too. And there's also the possibility that he could get traded 
uh, to a different market. And with the hype around him would be um, an even oh. higher prospect. All right. Number three. Xavier Isaac. Xavier Isaac. This is the Xavier Isaac true gold PSA 10. Isaac is a North Carolina guy. Right. And he went to high school in North Carolina. He was a high school draft pick. He was 22 ninth overall in the 22 draft. He was hurt his senior year. So he kind of went under the radar last year, started to turn it up. Uh, he's with the Tampa Bay Rays organization. He did make it up to high A double A last year. Um, love Isaac again, first baseman, huge bat, great hit tool. Um, one of our favorites. Yeah. Number two, kind of a no brainer right here. Jackson Churio. I mean, what's not to say about this kid? I mean, if you've ever watched Ronald Acuna Jr. play, then you're basically watching this kid play. He is very similar play styles. I'd say to Corbin Carroll, Ronald Acuna, amazing speed, got a killer bat, high exit velocity, kind of like Spencer Jones, has great play discipline, and he's just – So one of the things about prospects you want to look at is how well they hit doubles. Because guys that hit doubles will have power, home runs, or whatever. And you've got guys like this with a lot of speed. So, you know, Churio is just a huge upside prospect. The problem is, is he came out pretty hot and pretty well established. So his price point has always been high. So, the, for example, a Jackson Churio refractor, this is not a refractor. This is just a base. But let's say this were a refractor like the Basalo refractor. You could pick up the Basalo for $300, and this is in a nine. Whereas the Cheerio refractor in a nine is probably going to be seven, eight hundred dollars. So you can start to see kind of the range of, of prospects there, but that's where that one lands. And then last but not least, I don't think there's any question about this, but Jackson Holiday, I mean, he is the best prospect on baseball in every single list you see. I yeah. mean, he is just a phenomenal hitter. And from what we've heard, he's just he lives, eats, and breathes baseball. Yeah. Jackson Holiday, number one overall draft pick, son of Matt Holiday, and he more than likely will make a debut with the Orioles this year. Uh, we have loved collecting and buying and selling Jackson Holiday off and on, you know, throughout the last year or so. But those are our top 10 prospects. And, and listen, we're not saying these are the best baseball players. We're saying that these are the guys that we, we believe personally believe in. We love to follow them. We've invested in these guys, done well with these guys, and we're, we're kind of rooting them on. Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure.